Okay, getting started with creating drawings for Onshape, you're going to hit this plus button and we are going to create a drawing tab. And then I do have a video showing you how to um, import this uh, drawing template that we created for you, but I'm going to use our EHS size A, it's already in inches um, format. So I'm going to choose that. It's going to generate a new drawing tab. They called it drawing one. I can always right click on rename that. Okay, when you first come in, it opens up um, these menus, but let's show how to do that yourself. So we want to bring views on. And up here in the, in the ribbon, you've got the insert view button. So you're going to insert a view. And then you're going to hit the insert button. And then you can um, navigate right here. You can say, do we want to insert something from Part Studio or from an assembly? And maybe for the first page, my cover page, it'll just be the assembled train. So I'm going to click on that. Um, bringing, kind of moving my mouse over here, I can get a preview of the view that I've got. And I did model it so that the front of the train is facing the front plane. Um, I am going to turn this on to isometric. It should give me a front top right. All right, and I can change the scale. Right now the view scale is one to two, so it's one half the true size. Let's try one to one. It should be twice as big. There's one to one right there. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to go any bigger, but I'm gonna put just a really nice big view and I'm just going to click to place this. This will be my cover page. All right, I can right click on it and I can say show shaded view if I'd like it to come in in color. So that's how to start the drawing tab and how to place a single view. Now you're going to want to add more pages, right? We are not, 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 not going to hit this plus sign and create a new drawing tab. Within this one tab, we are going to have all of our pages. So if you hit this little um, button here, you can pull out a menu to the left where you can manage all of your sheets. And there's a little button right here at the top, the little plus sign that says insert sheet. So it's going to add sheets. So if we press that, we're going to add a second page. And you can rename these pages instead of them being generic sheet one. I can right click and rename that. And this can be the um, you know full assembly view and page two for me is going to be the exploded view okay so let's say I add a page and we would just go insert and um, it's already on assembly full let me, let me hit that insert button I want to change so that's not what I want so you don't want what's listed here, which is our full assembly again. Um, you can't, that drop down doesn't work. You gotta hit the insert button to bring this menu back up where you can come in here. And uh, let's see, where is our exploded view? Let's see, okay. So I have to choose that one actually, and then go to explode position. So that view I had saved the explode option. All right, and we want an isometric. There you go. And this scale is going to work um, well, but I need space for all the callouts and blooms. So I'm going to place that. I'm going to right click and make it shaded. I would add my bill of materials, which is let's see, this right, not the regular table, but right here. The BOM is bill of materials. It's going to give me my parts list and I'm going to place that kind of in that bottom left corner. I'm going to try to shrink these columns down as small as I can before I don't want it to wrap at all. The item column, I should be able to get this one. There we go. And then I'm going to get that to latch onto that lower left corner. All right. 
I will use the callouts here. I will do one per um, per part. So you know the train body. I'll get. And when I do this, I try to make them all parallel to each other. Um, or you know if if they're kind of in the up right down left direction, I try to keep those parallel. Or if I'm in the um, down and right up and left direction, I try to keep, try to keep those parallel so they're nice and organized. All right. Um, let's see. I haven't gotten the axle bolt yet. So let's get that. Let's get the linkage peg. Let's get the linkage arm. Let's see. I need <clears throat> my hitch magnet. Trying to eyeball what looks parallel to those other ones down there. My hitch peg. My smokestack. I've already got an axle, linkage, linkage peg, all those things have been gotten down there. I need to get the wheel. And the cow catcher. So we'll double check. Do I have them all? One, two, uh, there's part three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're all there. I'm going to hit accept. And just a reminder that managing this, this um, bill of materials or parts list, it might be called, is not done here within the drawing sheet. Managing what columns are available is managed over in the part studio. So you would have to come to the part studio. You have to expand this menu over here, this panel. Um, you want to go to, let's see. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You do it in the, the assembly tab. Sorry. Okay. Um, so in the assembly tab where you assembled and exploded, you will pull that over. Notice once you open this menu, there are three little tabs here. But on this one, you can manage columns. You can add columns. You can subtract columns. Um, if you just right click on the column, you get the option to remove left or to remove it. You can also move it left if you want to change the order. Um, so that is where you would manage which ones are showing up in this drawing page. All right, so I have added a drawing tab. I have um, added a sheet. I have added a couple views that are isometric. Um, I have made them shaded. I have added a bill of materials. I've added balloons. I've done quite a bit of things. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of cancel this video or stop this video at this point, and the next video will show... Um, individual part multi-view drawings with better dimensions.